Hello, Aries. Welcome to your You Versus Them love reading between you and your person. I'm going to place you on the first side and then your person on the second side. Even if I think that you're on the second side, I'm still going to refer to you as if you were the first person I'm speaking to. Why? Because it's absolutely be a confusion between me and you guys, the viewers. So try not to take it personally and just take the side that resonates. This is a general reading. So make sure that you're checking your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements for a full picture. If this doesn't, does not resonate with you, do not try to make it fit and just try to take a look at your other placements. If this does resonate with you and you'd like a deeper look, you can visit www.bradystarot.com to book a personal reading with me. Okay. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at Aries. Okay. Five of swords for your energy, feelings, empress, perspective, three of pentacles, Actions, five of pentacles. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. There's certainly some heart ache, ache here. Take a look at Aries person. Six of cups and the energy that they're projecting towards you and their feelings is the nine of wands. Their perspective of you is the eight of cups. And the nine of cups for their future actions. Okay. So Aries, in your current feelings, we have the five of swords. Tell me about this five of swords. Knight of cups. Nine of pentacles. The moon. Wow. Ten of wands, seven of wands. Firstly, you feel like this is somebody who has a lot going on in their own life. Kids, work, school, job, what, whatever it is that they have going on, creative projects, etc. You may feel like for some of you that they're avoiding you or they may be trying to push you off or uh, reject you in some type of way is kind of what I'm getting from that seven of wands, maybe because they feel like this is too much going on. I don't really know how I feel about your energy just because this kind of makes me feel with that five of swords and that knight of cups that you're acting as if you're projecting love or you're acting as if you're willing to be vulnerable, right? But with that five of swords, there's something to be said about that. This is a sense of deceptive energy a little bit. Maybe you are not as vulnerable as you'd like to lead on. Uh, maybe you are um, actually in love with them, but you are trying to deceive them with that nine of pentacles by being like, well, I'm I'm better off on my own. I'm, I'm good on my own. But I feel like with that moon energy there, there's more to be said about this. I don't really know if it's vindictive energy or you're trying to be manipulative per se for like, like, it doesn't feel like you're trying to manipulate them specifically. It feels like you're trying to pull the wool over their eyes and acting like you're okay on your own without them. Now, I'm not saying that you're not, but because the Five of Swords is here, this tells me that there's probably a desire to be vulnerable with that Knight of Cups, but you're wanting this person to believe the moon, the Knight of Pentacles, that you're okay on your own. Let's just clarify that moon. The four of pentacles, the, the lovers. So I think that what you're really trying to do is hold back. It's like you're trying to prove a point to this person, especially if you feel like they are pushing you off of them, if that makes sense. You have the empress here for your feelings for this person. Tell me about that empress energy. The king of swords, the queen of cups. Could be a same-sex relationship for some of you. That's obviously not for all of you. There could be a little bit of a threesome going on here. Not in the way that you want. I mean, maybe, okay. <laughs> but for a lot of you, there could be some third-party energy going on if that is the case. If that's the case, you're worried about it. It's showing me that you're worried about it. It's showing me that maybe you don't trust your emotions or you're afraid to get your feelings too involved. So what you're essentially trying to do is detach, which is what's kind of making sense for me here in this overall energy as to why you would be trying to pull the wool over this person's eyes. Because it seems more of like it's a, de uh, a defense mechanism in 
with a goal to protect yourself. Um, that empress is there, which tells me that for the most part, you know your worth, right? You're good, you're good. But I feel like when it comes, I heard when it comes to you, when it comes to this person, maybe you fall a little weak, or maybe this person makes you feel like they are your weakness of some of some accord. I do think that there's a desire for conversation here, but there's a bigger there's a bigger fear uh, to express your emotions, especially with that five of swords, nine of cups, queen of cups, nine of swords. It shows me there's a fear of vulnerability here on your part, and it could be because this person hurt you. I mean, I don't know. I have no idea what this story is. I'm certainly not judging. Judgment here. The king of wands judgment if this is somebody that you are separate from you certainly are attracted to them you think that they're sexy you want to have a reconciliation etc all of these nice things there's definitely some protective energy on your part going on and i'm trying to figure out why and i'm sure that we're going to get to that once we get to this side for some of you you feel like this person has the wrong idea about you and i'm not sure why i'm getting that but this is definitely a sense of I need that that I need this person to understand that I don't need them because if they know that I need them, then they're going to take full advantage of that. And the thing about being vulnerable and the thing about the fear of being vulnerable, vulnerability can come from a place of love and love can be created through vulnerability. The problem is, is that fear is usually stronger than love. And so fear tends to overtake us, right? And that fear is there, essentially, uh, psychologically speaking, to protect us. And I feel like that's what you're kind of doing. So you have this three of pentacles for how you perceive this person. Tell me about that three of pentacles, please. Okay. The three of pentacles, the judgment, the nine of wands. I heard fight for me. Clarify that seven of cups. The reason why you're doing this is because you may feel as though this is somebody that is integrated their energy with more than just you. Kind of what I was going, what I was saying before about the third party energy. You may feel as though this is somebody that speaks in tongues or speaks in tales. This is somebody who likes to maybe pull the wool over your eyes through their manipulative sense of communication. You may feel like this person throws you for a loop, makes you, says one thing, then your intuition tells you something and then they make you second guess it, et cetera. Um, you do want to get on the same page with this individual. You feel like this is somebody that's on your path. You like I said, you want to get on the same page. There's definitely something that you appreciate about this person, but I feel like when it comes down to it, because you may have very much confronted this individual before about certain things, like trying to pull the wool over your eyes, uh, trying to deceive you in some form or fashion. And I think that with this five of wands and the seven of swords, that's essentially you. And you're just kind of waiting on the other shoe to drop, or it's like you're waiting on a fight. There's a sense of you trying to avoid any confrontation because you don't want any outbursts. You don't want any ego conflicts, et cetera. The five of pentacles for your future actions. The world. The fool. The six of wands. Why the five of pentacles? The king of wands. You know, for some of you, I'm just going to be honest. Um, you may feel like this person is engaging in a new opportunity with that ace of pentacles and the six of swords. You may feel like they're simply moving on from this here. So there's a sense of attraction, but you may feel like this person is in their ego. You may even feel like this is somebody who has a lot of people that want them. So it's like, eh, ugh, why even try? You know, it's a sense of either blocking them, leaving them out, separating yourself from the situation, emotionally, energetic, physically, whatever need be. Now, it doesn't feel like you are with that world there. It doesn't feel like you're holding any animosity or you're doing anything violent per se, emotionally violent or disruptive, if you will. It seems like you are simply closing it out. You're letting go of the baggage with that fool. It's like, all right, let me just close this out. I need to let go of this baggage. And it seems like you're having some form of success here. Now I'm wondering as well, I don't feel as though you are coming back around to this person because you feel like this is somebody that is simply moving on. I think as well that you feel as though this is somebody who is 
more focused on self. And while there's nothing wrong with that, I think that you, you, because I, I'm looking at this person's side and I see that they're focused on self and what you're trying to make this person believe is that you are also focused on self. Now, I'm not saying that you're not, but there is a sense of deception here. There is a sense of you trying to make them see you in a very specific light. And it's just coming as a protective mechanism, as a defense mechanism in some way. I mean, how many times do we do this? This is what our brain does. This is what our brain does to protect itself. It's a very natural human response. So the six of cups is here for this person's energy that they're currently projecting towards you. There are things that you won't say. Tell me about that six of cups. That energy of yours is very telling to me, Aries. The page of cups. They're not... Mm, they have the five of swords as well. This is somebody that may not have the... I don't want to say the emotional capacity, the emotional fortitude. The This is somebody that is not intending on having a full-blown commitment with that five of swords and the higher font. This is somebody that may at times act like they have a specific set of morals or standards or values, but this to me seems like the type of person that may not always live up to those. Um, maybe a little hypocritical at times, right? It's kind of like the very religious people that you'll see or the spiritual people that you'll see where they say, oh, you you shouldn't judge and you shouldn't, but they're like the biggest ones doing it, pointing the finger, right? It's kind of like giving me that type of vibe here. So this may be somebody who's a little bit hypocritical, somebody who's a little naive, someone who is maybe even a little infantile or adolescent in their emotional nature wheel of fortune and the hangman this is somebody who feels like you are not <laughs> with that wheel of fortune and the hangman this is about having a huge broader perspective jupiter the wheel of fortune is all about wisdom jupiter also represents pisces and with due, due respect to neptune as well and this is about sacrificial energy. This is about wisdom. This is about somebody who can see all sides of something. This is about like collective wisdom that this person feels that you have obtained. I heard through many lifetimes. So I don't know if this person believes in past lives or this person just feels like you're wise beyond your years is what I'm getting. So we have the nine of wands for this person's feelings for you. Two of swords in reverse wanted to pop out. Okay, I'm assuming it wants me to take pop outs. So let's see if we get any more. The page of wands. I heard let me lead. Oh. Mm. A lot of fire energy here which isn't surprising. After all, you are a fire sign. Nine of wands, two of swords in reverse, page of wands, queen of wands in reverse. Why the queen of wands in reverse? The knight of cups. This is someone that feels that when you get your emotions involved, you get very jealous or you're easily wounded. You do things for attention just as this person is kind of portraying this emotionally infantile energy, they feel as though you do the same. They feel as though you are maybe not as mature as you think you are. Um, this is somebody that is also quite jealous. This is someone who's very concerned with coming out on top. Someone who is not going to avoid confrontation with you is what this feels like. This is somebody that may also be quite jealous themselves. Let me see something. Yes. Okay. That queen of wands in reverse is supposed to be you is what it's telling me. They feel like that uh, when you don't get your way with something, you, you tend to get very upset when you try to manifest something into the reality, especially from emotional, from an emotional standpoint, this is somebody that feels like you get very upset when things don't work out in the way that you had planned. This person wants to speak to you 
I feel like for some of you, this person gets off on you getting jealous, or even if you don't get jealous, this person thinks that you are in some way, shape or form. Um, this is somebody that feels like you're very attractive, very attractive to them. Somebody who feels like you're a little bit of a wild card, you know, which isn't surprising. I mean, you are Aries after all. <laughs> the eight of cups for how they perceive you. Tell me about this eight of cups, please, for how this person perceives Aries. The world, the ace of swords, no room for error is what I heard. This person is quite disappointed by you. Because, I mean, this Nine of Pentacles is showing up in your energy, like I stated before, right? How you're currently portraying yourself to this specific individual. And they're viewing you as the Nine of Pentacles here. This is somebody that's disappointed by that. This is somebody that feels like you will choose or you have chosen yourself over them. Uh, they may feel like you are rejecting them in some way, even if you haven't at all. Maybe there was something that they said that you kind of rejected. Maybe there was something that they did that you rejected. I, I don't know, whatever the case is. They feel as though they are not good enough for you or you have made them feel not good enough for you. So it's like, while maybe there are certain things about the two of you that where you guys get along, they feel like it's not good enough for you. So they see you kind of walking away, you know, licking your wounds if need be. They see you closing out a cycle. They don't really feel like you're starting drama necessarily. They feel like you definitely have a jealous streak, especially when your emotions get involved, which I can certainly relate to. If my emotions aren't involved, I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Uh, this is somebody who feels like you're very clear, like you know exactly where you're going. You know exactly what decision you need to make. And that's it. And you're not going to falter on that. Can I just get an Ace of Swords clarification? Oof. This is somebody that certainly views you as a, a very strong connection. The lovers is like the creme de la creme. This is somebody that may also view you as having expressed your desire or your emotions for them. Uh, and maybe you were disappointed. So you were like, hey, listen, I'm done investing here. I don't want to invest in this anymore. The Nine of Cups for their future actions. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. The Strength, the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords. So essentially what you're doing currently and your energy now right? Where you are fearing being vulnerable. You feel as though you need to protect yourself. So therein, you feel like you have to portray a specific way about yourself. Like I'm good on my own. I don't need you. Even if you want to call them so bad, even if you want to see them so bad, you're like, no, I'm standing my ground, you know? And that's essentially what they're now doing because they're trying to here in the near future, match the energy that you're currently projecting towards them. And this is somebody that is portraying a false sense of confidence because they don't want you to see them sweat. It's like, Aerie, I don't want Aries to see me sweat. And here you are showing... Wow. Wow. The Emperor and the Empress, Aries. Well... So in your own heart, in your heart of hearts, you feel like you are the empress. You feel like you have an abundance of love to share, which I feel like you do, but you're trying to detach for obvious reasons. And this is somebody that may feel like the two of you are the lovers, the emperor. If you put the lovers, the emperor and the empress together, this is a connection that you're like never, ever going to get again in your life. You know, if you're lucky, maybe one more, right? Maybe. And this is somebody who feels that way about you. And the fear comes from losing you. Eight of swords, nine of swords. They don't know what to do. They're not making a decision or they're fearing making a decision. So they don't make a decision at all. And I feel as though with that nine of cups, this is somebody who's being a little bit more indulgent, self-indulgent, going out, drinking, or I don't know, doing whatever it is that they do um, in order to have a good time. So they cannot think. It feels like they're trying not to think about this. Now, your motivation is the Eight of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Three of Swords. 
you don't know what the hell to do either, quite frankly, Aries. And it's this sense of, I don't want to keep regretting something or I don't want to make a bad move. I don't want to make a decision where I'm going to screw myself over or screw myself over again. So why make a decision at all? I need to move on is what this feels like to me. This person, the devil, the ace of cups, the king of wands. Tell me about that. Um, tell me about that devil energy just so I can get some clarification. I'm going to pull one from the middle, please. Tell me about that devil energy for the person that Aries is currently dealing with. Last shuffle. The knight of swords. Okay. Okay. First of all, I think this is someone that may be dealing with somebody else. This is someone that is very determined to find love. This is somebody that's very determined, however, to make sure that whatever they're seeking out is going to benefit them and benefit them alone. Um, this is someone with that devil and that knight of swords. This, I feel, is somebody that's very determined to get down to the bottom of what your problem is or what the initial issue is. This is somebody that's very determined, I think, to express themselves. You know, the Knight of Swords is all about getting down to the bottom of something, kind of going in, you know, flinging your tongue around, not in that way. I mean, in the way of saying whatever you're thinking or digging for information that's really none of your business. And it feels like maybe that's what this person is kind of determined to do in regards to you. And whichever way that may be, you know, for God's sake, hopefully they don't hack into something, right? <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Guided message for my Aries. One more, please. Thank you. What about this one? Okay. For the both of you, I got bring love into the situation. I'm getting more so empathy between the two of you, needing to have more empathy between the two of you for each other in some type of way. Now, what's in interesting to me, Aries, is you got a time for healing in reverse, and then you got you are good enough. So... This person may make you feel like you're not good enough. Now, the thing about self-esteem is that it's self-esteem, not their esteem, right? So try to remember that. Try to understand that you are your own person, that you have to know how to fill your own cup. And I'm not saying that you don't. I just want to make sure that this person's reactions or lack thereof or lack of response or responses is not going to diminish your self-esteem, is not going to take away from who you are in any way, shape, or form. Um, for some of you, you do need to heal and you may be trying to hop, skip, and jump to the next thing. Um, you know, sometimes people just like to simply move on. And I can understand that, you know, who the hell wants to sit there with their problems and marinate, et cetera. You know, some people, when they refuse to heal, it's like you're running a marathon and you end up, you know, I don't know, maybe somebody stabs you in the leg. I don't know. Okay trigger warning. Maybe you're running a marathon and somehow you get stabbed in the leg and you're like, oh, it's fine. I'm just going to keep running. Right. And you just, you're acting like you're like not bleeding around the track. And it's like, well, you know, so maybe there's something about that there. Well, maybe you just need to stop for a second and take a moment and kind of figure, figure whatever that is out uh, and be okay with sitting with whatever energy that is and processing it. Uh, person on the right, you got have faith in your dreams and your commitment is being tested. Okay. So if this is specifically about a personal goal of yours and you don't really have time for relationships or something of that nature, then maybe that's what you need to focus on. You know, your commitment is being tested to whatever your dream is. So whether that's being with Aries, you need to commit, commit to that. If you really say that you want Aries, then what are you going to do about it? You know, uh, if you really want to become, I don't know, a the best painter in the world, then why don't you have a paintbrush in your hand and a canvas? I don't know. Whatever that is, that's what you need to commit to. And that's what you need to focus on. Okay. So 
Aries and a cross watcher. It was an absolute pleasure to read your cards. If you would like to book a personal reading, you can visit www.bradystarot.com. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, if you want any information about me or you'd like to donate to the channel, just make sure that you look in the description box below. Thank you so much, Aries and friends, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.